welcome to the April, the May meeting, May first, <laughs> the May the, May the, the right exactly the May Day meeting of the Village Planning Commission. Um, want to talk about two things tonight. So um, we we have earlier been um, looking at uh, potential to uh, rezone North Sea Road uh, between the highway and Bowden Square. Uh, and the, we have now officially sent on to the trustees the proposal um, from um, Chick Voorhees to do a study. To do a study. To do a study. Um, and uh, the trustees are, cons are, are considering whether to fund that study. Um, and when that study is approved, we will start to look, look at, the, at, at the street in the context of the study. And the study is, includes the traffic impact, the environmental impact, um, obviously, um, looking at the at the market for both office space and re retail space um, to see what's what's happening there, um, and also we'll look at what the potential impact is of the rezoning of North Sea Road to what we've done in the Village Center. Um, so that's that's where we are on that. Um, okay, so we're and we're waiting, waiting to hear back, right? Okay, correct. All right. Um, so I wanted to talk about the. Uh, the wastewater tree, tree, treatment issue. So we had a uh, public hearing at the April meeting. Mm -hmm. I thought it was an uh, excellent hearing. We got very good attendance, which was great, including a number of the uh, pro property owners who have been following up since. Um, so I um, want to talk a little bit about next steps. Um, I saw that um, the uh, proposal from HTM was put on the Village website, which is great. Right. Um, and I think they haven't put it on yet, but they will be putting on um, the map that was prepared. Yes. Yeah. yeah, that was in the newspaper. Yeah. Actually, there was a front yes. page article. There's a front page article. Did you in the newspaper. Yes, yeah. Yeah. I didn't read it, but it's like yeah. But, but they're going to go ahead and, and hire a consultant. Right. Well, that's what we want to talk about. So, okay. um, so we want to, and Mark, maybe you should follow up on this. So we want to talk about um, putting together a request for pro proposals for two consultants, an engineering firm and a lawyer. Right. right. Do you want to talk a little bit about that? Right. I think that so the next step will be to uh, get a, an engineering firm right. to submit or call for uh, right. engineering firms to submit proposals to help us with the creation of the uh, sewer district and uh, to make a formal um, uh, delineation of the district and then find also with a law firm that will also guide us through the steps on how to form that district and then how to pay for the, the system. Are we going to um, ask Mr. Russo to be one of those consultants? Yes. 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 Okay. yes. yes. So we're looking for another one? Or no, no, no. He's which... going to submit a proposal. Okay. We're just going to oh, open okay. it up in case someone else right. wants to submit a, a proposal. I see. Okay. All right. right. So, and and so his law firm that came with him, I can't the, remember. Uh, Egan. Egan. Right. right. Egan, Egan also right. are they will submit a proposal to do the law firm. It's really a team effort it between is, an engineer yeah. and a lawyer. Right. And then once we know how to fund it, then we, maybe we could get a third consultant to help us with the grants. Right. To get grants from the Environmental uh, uh, Funding Corporation, which is a federal agency, get grants from the, the state, get grants right. from various... Uh, right. What I remember sources. Mr. Russo saying was is that he has people that, that help do that within his firm, is that correct? Yes, that's correct. That, but I think that we, it's a separate than the engineering. It's a right. separate task. Well, the, a lot of, because they do this all the time, so mm. they know right. where the grants are, they've gotten the Yeah, they the know, they know the ropes. Right. Right. The village would, also has a grant writer. I understand, and I know right. who she is. Yeah. I, you know, just to me, I mean, she does very well. But let's go with somebody who knows where to go. Right. Yes. Let's exactly. not waste time. Right. Yes. Exactly. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we will. Yes. The, you know, Congressman Bishop is. Right. Yes. Yeah, so well, an essential yeah. component because there's right. a lot of federal money right. available sure. because we are within the coastal, uh, so close yeah. to the coast. Right. Oh. It's really federal and state money. Right. Right. So yeah. you know, I mean, I was really impressed with yep. this H2M yep. the, right. that presentation. Yeah. Um, and I'm sure that there are probably other firms out there, but this guy really, I mean, he had all of his ducks in a row. Yes. He had the whole, you know, from soup to nuts. Yes. And, and obviously uh, they've been looking at this for a long time, which is a real yeah, advantage. So. I just was very impressed. So right? I think what would be, And the fact that right. it could be sort of, they would all be working together 
See, to me that means a lot because they're used to working together. Right. Right. So they know how to work together. You bring in three different entities who have never worked together, you're going to have a lot of, uh, you know, earn as you learn time. Right. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. And, he, and they are local. Right. Mm -hmm. They are, you know, right here mm -hmm. in the Long Island. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, yes. Okay, good. And then, um, so I think it would be great if we could, um, maybe we'll try to put together... A, the RFPs yes. in time for our next me meeting. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then we could approve them at our next meeting, mm -hmm. and then send it out and have them come in in July to exactly. make present. So sounds like a plan. Tations. Okay. Yeah. So the RFP for because that's the process we got through the past. So we issue an RFP, they come back RFP next meeting, meeting. Request, request for, for proposals. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> that's all right. Good point. <laughs> request for proposals. Request and then, for proposals. Okay. And then have them come in at the next meeting. Uh huh. Publicly advertise it so people know what's happening. Right. And have them, you know, pre present to what us, they propose. To the planning commission meeting. Not, this is, and are you going to keep this open to the public, or is this going to be just one of our regular? And this will be open to the public, so that okay. public can, can come and yes. watch, see what the firms are saying. Okay. Yeah. And so the RFP is going to go out to how and, many? Well, we will. Uh, right. It has to be advertised in the contract reporter. Right. Okay. By, by law, it's just, so it will be within the contract reporter, and then uh, normally Steve Funch publishes it in local right. publications, right. Uh -huh. Southampton Press. Uh, uh -huh. So we'll see how many more. firms come back. So, but the contract reporter, all those people who watch the contract reporter. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So they is there? Reporters. So they all respond, or they all some respond. Is there a filtering process before? No. Generally, what we've done is we've had them all come in. Okay. And then we would make a, you know, a recommendation to the trustees among the firms of which ones we think mm -hmm. we, we, we would re recommend. Maybe I we see. can develop a, a grid right. with, such that we can weigh you know, the fees that they charge, like 50%, mm -hmm. or whether they are local, 5%, mm -hmm. uh, their expertise in that kind of systems, right. you know, mm -hmm. have, have a series of... Uh, and, right. if, and, and if they work with people that do grant writing and right. also legal... Right, right, right. 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 that would I be mean, that's, definitely that's, that's, that would be a plus. plus. Yeah. So would Mr. Russo come back, or are we sort of... We sort of I think we would, we would ask entity. them to come back just and talk for a few minutes. Okay. Uh, obviously, right. we know a lot about him, but, right. you know... Well, we could have other firms come. Right, yeah. right. I think that that would be appropriate to do, to right. give him another shot, yep. Yep. and um, maybe put him first or last on the list, right. Right. so that he has the most impact. Right. I really like right. him. Yeah, no, I thought he was terrific. Yeah, and he's a great engineer, but here in uh, Long Island, I must say that we are blessed with right. many, many sure. very good engineering firms. Right. Right. The, the Long Island is really, uh, right. you know, there's a lot of, you know, brain power. Right. Mm -hmm. Good. So yeah. we do have Well, I think that triumvirate is really important. The, the legal, the grants, right. And, right. The, and the doers. Right, the right. I mean, I think what I was pleased about was that um, at the hearing, and certainly what I've heard since, is... Um, People have pretty universally bought into the idea that this is an important thing for the village center. Mm -hmm. And what I, what I think is, is particularly pleasing is the process we've gone through of first doing the zoning, mm -hmm. so people feel there's control yes. over what's going to happen, mm -hmm. and then doing the sewers has created a very different environment than there was when this issue was raised, what was it, 10 years ago, something like right. that? Yeah, when there was a lot of controversy because people thought doing sewers would just open up massive development. So I think now that people don't have that concern, um, I thought there was a lot of buy-in at the meeting mm -hmm. that yes. this was the right thing to do at this point. Well, I, th I certainly agree with you. I yeah. think that there is great concern out there among the, among the, the at least the full-time residents and perhaps the seasonal residents about development in right. general. Right, yes. And um, they're very wary mm -hmm. of large-scale projects. Right. Um, so... I agree. Just, 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 I, no, I've agree. noticed it. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I feel yeah, it. Yeah, so. mm -hmm. yeah. No, we were talking about, you know, you really mm -hmm. feel it right now. There's a lot of activity in the, the village. Yes, there More is. than there's been in a long time. So right. people are concerned. And, and I understand that. I think, you know, that's, the answer is with the zoning, we've really, we're both going to channel and limit mm -hmm. what can be done. Mm -hmm. um, and also, you know, some of, I think, you know, what's important is the, the wastewater treatment system will allow the residential to, to 
Chevelle. The units to, you... to return that were here many, right. many years ago and now are gone. Absolutely. Which is very important for the Well, village. that is very important, and let's not lose sight of the water. Right. The, the water Correct. is a huge, right. huge issue. It's a, water it's a quality, huge, yeah. Yes. yeah. It is, yeah. and, and Suffolk County has been listed right. as one of those counties that's, that's very, uh, right. um, what's the word, fragile. Right, right. right. And, and development only, yeah. only, only hurts that. Right. And in terms of timing, you know, with the renovation of the Southampton Center for the Arts, right. it's, the, it's the great timing. Right. right. Yes, true. Very and true. it also, I think, um, well, one thing that was good in the Southampton Press today is they talked about um, the reconstruction of this parking lot as yes. being part right. of the opportunity of doing wastewater. Uh -huh. So, I mean, this yeah. is, we're very fortunate, I think, in the village that we have this resource here, which mm -hmm. gives us a place to start. Yeah. Um, and also, I think, could be um, sort of a very good case study of a su of what a, su a sustainable parking lot looks like, mm -hmm. as mm -hmm. opposed to what we have now, which is mm -hmm. all mm -hmm. it, at, at its best it, impervious surface that just run, water, water runs off, off of it. Yeah. Right. Even the parking lot that they redid back behind the new Citarella is... Right. I mean, I, I don't know. It's just not, not very good, I don't think. Well, it's more attractive, but it doesn't... Well, yeah, I know. It doesn't, I mean. but it doesn't... It doesn't really address any of the issues that you would want, which are becoming more and more common now. When you go around the country, you see parking lots with swales and using gravel and doing a lot of things mm -hmm. that, from an environmental point of view, environment. certainly are much better. But that design, right. like Cinderella, you know, you can't go through the parking right. lot. You have to no, go around. Right, it right. Is, it's a very it's odd. Awful. That, that's very odd. odd. And then you've got yeah. parallel parking yes. and this parking. Right, right. Yeah. It's very confusing. And then, of course, the school uses most of it. Right. right, and when you, you can like, you can get in, but then you can't get, you can't get out. Get out. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> you get in, and then you realize there's only one way to get out, and that one way only goes one one way. One way, <laughs> right. right? I know. It's it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's I I used to use that parking lot a lot. Yeah. I rarely yeah. go in yeah. in there because it's such a nightmare. Yeah. <laughs> That would be the one thing it has actually accomplished. Well, I understand that the parking lot behind the Southampton Art Center will also perhaps include a street, so to correct, speak. Correct, correct. And that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. You have to put a traffic light there, but I betcha. Right. Or something. Right, but the idea is correct. To create a street that would run from, North South, I guess. from Windmill Lane to here. Um, it would form sort of the border yeah. of the Southampton Center, and then right. would hook into what already exists on on the map, which is West Main Street. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. So, yeah. yeah. Now the Southampton Art Center, Center for the Arts. Southampton Art Center. Okay, Southampton Art Center. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Is um, yeah, they did. Yes. 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 Um, is not even projecting. Starting to build for three or four years, right, Paul? Correct, correct. Yeah. Okay. But there's, you know, this summer there will be oh, there's going to be programming. Pro programming. I understand that. So I it's going to be busy this summer. Yeah, I know, and uh, which I is great. It's terrific, well, actually. It, that's fine. Yeah. Um, but um, and we've been, you know, the center's been working on the grounds. You can see. I, I actually walked around today. The mm -hmm. grounds look much, much better this spring. Mm -hmm. um, They're going to build an outdoor stage. They're not correct. Gonna, correct. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah, okay. So. I want them to collaborate with the Cultural Center. Right. Well, that's the idea. I hope so. That is certainly the I idea. I threw it out there to to the director, and she said she talked to the powers that be. Yeah. Um, you know, it's a shame. <laughs> what, what do you need two of them? <laughs> well, they do different things, but I think, no, I think the idea no, that no, they the... Co no, they don't. Certainly the idea of... Collaborating, I think, is very important. It really is. It should be one right. center with two yeah. venues. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. But that's that's an administrative um, right. thing. Right. Yeah. You haven't heard any other fee feedback on the sewer issue, have you? No. Yeah, I've just I've been asking around. People generally had a very positive. People who no, saw it on yeah, television so certainly seem to be supportive. The only ask, the only question I get is, how quickly is it going to happen? Right. Five right. years. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> Right. Start start to to finish. According to the Sally Press, right? Yes, yeah, five years. Mm -hmm. Well, that's according to Mr. Russo. Yes, too. yes. Five years. I mean, we could try to do it a little sooner. Right. Well, soon. the only thing is, is that, and, and in the newspaper, they offered the three things that we're studying, including some sort of revamping of the hospital. 
that was right. mentioned. Right, 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 right. So they're, they're, it's not even public yet, really, what they're intending. Correct. Is it? Correct. It's not. So and that's so part of the difficulty right now is trying to figure out when the hospital will be resolved. So is what doing. if that's on the table as a consideration and they're not even talking about it and they're... Their projection is what five to seven years away. Probably. So then, you know, we could be looking at ten years. Well, I think. I, first of all, I think there's a lot of work we can do while we're yes. waiting for the hospital to, 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 to resolve what they're doing. Really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So it's not tied to one. It's tied to the idea rather than to one specific. I think so. Right. right. The plan there, could there move would around. be ways, even if, for example, we were to decide to go out, something could be worked out. A temporary plan could be set for the hospital while we upgrade the plant itself right, and right. redirect it. There are ways to do it. Right. There is technology to do it. Right. Has anybody, well, I'm sure that um, Mr. Challoner probably read the article in the press today, but has anybody um, talked to the hospital board about, since they have made their decision that... I think it's something that needs to be explored. Right, right. Something that needs to be explored. Somebody should say something to somebody. Yes. Right. And say, right. howdy doody. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Probably Mark? Yeah. I think there is a intense focus at the hospital right now on com, on, com, on completing the transaction with Southampton College, with okay. SUNY. Okay. Right. Right. Okay. Yeah. Well, then yeah. we don't want to upset them. Right. But right. once that's completed... Yes. Yeah, once somebody, it's yeah. completed... Right. 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 Then we should say some, you know, yeah. something. But I'm sure that people have read that article, so they're going, hmm... Right. Maybe if they read, I don't know. Right. <laughs> right. The question is, where is it more desirable? You know. Right. But it's also a way of uh, perhaps expansion too. Mm. You mean you have two systems? No, 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 no. no, no. no. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. No, no. How do you like the parking lot right there on uh, Windmill Lane for the dog park? How do you like I think it? it's, it's fantastic. It's great. I think it's terrific. <laughs> I think it's a, <laughs> I think the, the dog park. I think the dog park is a great idea. It's well, going to get a lot of use. Well, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't say anything about the dog park. I said the parking lot. <laughs> is what I said. <laughs> and when will the dog park be completed? Uh, it it opens for, the first week of June. I think. Yeah, they're right. Pushing, they're really pushing. Yeah, they're yeah, pushing. yeah, yeah, yeah. And they've raised all the money. Yeah, they've it's raised terrific. all the money. Yeah, but it's really parking terrific. lot. See that? Okay, this is segueing into my concerns about making changing zoning on North Sea Road. North sea Road. Do we want to encourage parking lots in front of... I get your point, right. right. Okay, now, That's a good point. Now you get my point. Okay, okay. Now I, I mean, understand what you... I understand, right. Now you understand? Right. Okay, it's not the park, it's the right. parking. Right, right. That's... Um, I know that all over America they do that, because mm -hmm. I've lived in those places. And one of the nice things about New England and the area around here is that they've always been very nice about putting parking in the back. Right, right, as we have in the village center. Right. Right. Yes, right. so I don't know who made the decision to put the parking lot in the front. Know. I don't know. But it, the, do you think that maybe was because of the slope? Well, what a, you know, there is a road that goes up there. Right, right. Isn't there? There I is a so. road. Yeah. Go, they yeah. made a road. Yeah, yeah. Right. To the point. Okay, it's a really good point for North Sea Road. Yes, yeah. it is. It's yeah. like, you know, this is our trash road. And we actually, what's, it's interesting want. what's happened in North Sea Road is everything that's been done in recent years, mm -hmm. like the post office, has the parking right in front. Yes. You're right. Yes, yeah. and it's awful. Yeah, yeah. as and opposed to the Suffolk County National Bank north of the tracks where the building is in front. Yes. Right. It's much more attractive. Much, attra much yeah. more attractive. Yeah. So, I don't know. So, that, that I thought wasn't well thought out. Right. Um, perhaps in their haste, um, right. you know. Right. So it, that kind of thing doesn't should be thought about. Yep. Okay. I think. Okay. All right. So I think okay, that's right. it for tonight. I know yeah. both Mr. Yeah. Essay sure and, <laughs> and Mr. Simeone will be back next month. Okay. Where is he? Um, oh, is he just on vacation with his family? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, that's yeah. Fine. Um, Have we thought any more about opening up the? Um, um, Southampton Arts Center on Job's Lane, that that wall, or is that all? No, they are working on another entrance. They are? Yes, yes. Oh, missed it. Okay. Yeah, yes. Is it an extension of an existing one, or is it a brand new one? 
Um, well, they're talking about doing a new entrance on the um, on this side. Um, the parking lot side. No. No, no. The um, you mean a an entrance w in the wall into the grounds? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So we're talking about a new entrance between mm -hmm. the Rogers M Memorial Library and the museum, and the art center. Oh. Where that wall is creating a a more visible entrance that leads you through. So removing the wall. Yeah, taking out a piece of the wall and, and creating an opening there. Rogers Memorial Library and the museum. R right. Between the, or the, or the art center. Between the two. The Not buildings. the Rogers Memorial Library. The well, the old Rogers Memorial Library. Oh, okay. Sorry. I'm going. The former oh, Rogers God. Memorial God. Library. Okay, are we building a bridge? Or yeah, what? yeah. Sorry. The former Rogers Memorial Library. <laughs> I will always think of it as the Rogers Memorial Library. I know, Library. that's right, right? Okay, <laughs> right. okay. So, so right. there are you going. Oh, there. There. Yeah, because that's actually a very pretty part of the grounds. But if you walk over after the meeting, that's very it's very appealing. attractive. I know, but it's coming up off of... Joseph. So there's a way to yes. create a ramp so that you could come up and then walk backwards towards the parking lot, and you would go past, obviously, the Roman yeah. emperors. It would be a really nice walk walkway. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. And there was, another en there was another entrance opened up, which will be active this summer. Just down below, at the, near um, Ralph Lauren. Right, right, right before Ralph Lauren. But I, I always thought that that should be bigger. Right, I think it will be opened up. Big, this big, open. Yeah. Up. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. yeah. I'd love to have those. Didn't all those? And what's didn't interesting, the emperors get beheaded. I mean, can we just take their heads off? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. They are they are historic. <laughs> yeah. They are. Um, <laughs> and um, what was great last summer, and I think will be true this summer, is some benches and chairs were put out. No, I swear. And they got intensively yeah. used. I bet they did. They really did. Yeah, so it was great. Nice. People really like yeah. using the grounds. That's what I think. And that's right. why I think that this, this um, more accessible entrance yep. is absolutely yep. wonderful. Yep. And we're still going to have the, um, the um, Sunday market there. Yeah. 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 Okay. Great. Okay. okay. All right. All right. So. Thanks very much. Meeting is adjourned. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.